Good evening. Welcome to Silverado Middle School Back to School Night, September 23rd, 2020. My name is Keith Johnson, and I'm your student's seventh or eighth grade AVID teacher. If you need to contact me, the best way to contact me would be Keith underscore Johnson at nvsd.org.org. Before I start the presentation and talk to you about the class, I'd like to share a little bit about myself with you. I'm the 7th and 8th grade AVID teacher here at Silverado Middle School. I've been teaching in the district for 15 years, and I've taught at Silverado for many years in the past, teaching many different assignments. Recently, the past years, teaching math, science, and I taught your 6th graders AVID last year. So all the 7th grade students who are returning probably had me as a teacher. A little personal information, I'm married. I have two children, ages 20 and 24. I was born here in Napo, and I also attended Silverado Middle School. So it's really, really cool to come back to campus and to get that little nostalgia that's really around and see all the kids and see their experience and just kind of reminisce on how it was fun, how fun it was for me. As you can see the pictures below, I'm a huge Bay Area sports fan and I love to go fishing whenever possible. My last year students know that really well about me. I'm also familiar with the eighth grade students because a couple of years ago when they were an AVID, did a lot of substitute for them, substitute teaching for them. So they're kind of familiar with me as well. Some of the main topics or one in AVID are centered around what we call WICR. And WICR is an acronym for writing, inquiry, collaboration, organization, and reading. Lots of writing, lots of questions asked, a lot of collaboration working together. We're learning how to be well organized and how to do a lot of, we're doing a lot of reading to get us information. These are a lot of things that students know that they need to work on. Now, let's talk a little bit of difference about classwork compared to homework, which we call synchronous learning for the class and asynchronous learning for home. In a synchronous classroom, where we're, uh, where we're learning remotely, a lot of direct instructions given, as it would be in any class. A lot of reading and writing assignments from AVID core curriculum, plenty of note taking. In an AVID class, it's a community where we work together and we, and, we, and we study together and help each other out. Tremendous amount of collaboration in an AVID classroom. We have whole group class, groups, and or partners talking together and working together and helping us solve problems that we have within our school. The majority of what we do is together in our, is in our breakout rooms. This is until we can get back to the classroom and then we can do what we're used to doing. Lots of class discussions, such as Socratic seminars, philosophical, philosophical chairs, excuse me, and Socratic seminars. There's an introduction to an e-binder a new way to organize what we have to learn. We're going to start doing that as soon as everybody's ready. We're all in the process of getting it together and I'm pretty excited. We're gonna have know how to put our stuff in the e-binder just like we did when we had AVID binders in the classroom. There's so much more to Lisp. There is a lot for us to do in AVID this year and I'm very excited. As far as homework goes, the asynchronous learning, Homework will be assigned in Google Classroom using Kami worksheets or Google questions, Google forms slash surveys. They're usually due the next class meeting. So if AVID's on a Tuesday, by Friday, I'm going to accept expect this, the assignment to be turned in so we can discuss it. If I work on a Friday, I may or may not give a, a homework assignment. Usually I do. And if I do give a homework assignment on Friday, then it most definitely is due on the next Tuesday. Wednesdays are short periods, and those are opportunities for us to review things, ask questions, come up with a topic, whatever it is that we can do within that 25 minute span. Um, what they need to do at also at home for asynchronized learning is to maintain their planner. Their planner should have everything written in it from all their classes, all their homework assignments and everything. So if you need to know what their homework is, make sure you ask them to see their planner. They write a planner in the AVID class just the same. They also are going to be taking notes in them, and eventually we're going to spend a lot of time learning how to revise our classroom notes. There's five phases to the AVID note-taking process. Eventually, I'd, I'd really, really like to get them to know how to take 
Excellent notes before they get to high school. Eighth graders, let's do it. The last thing I listed here is keeping up with assignments from other classes. Since it's written in their planners, and most teachers have agendas with all the assignments written on them, keeping up with assignments from other classes is going to be our priority. I will ask them to check it periodically, usually on Wednesdays. Check your planner, check your Aries, look at your grades, make sure you got everything done. It's your responsibility. You want to prepare for high school. Let's do it. So in order for this to happen in an avid class, and, you know, unfortunately, we're at home, we got to do have a little support system for our students. And this isn't just mean just because we're at home, but even if they come back to class and they're at home, there's a lot of things that we can do. Student planners, this is where you find the daily assignments. I mentioned it earlier because it is part of their homework is to check their planner and make sure that everything's in there and that they're doing it all. I am support. You could support them by looking at their planner too to make sure they're doing their homework. Like I said earlier, there is a Google Classroom and in most classes, teachers provide agendas. I wouldn't say that uh, there's a teacher on campus who doesn't. So if you need to go to the Google Classroom, ask your student to look at their agenda and you can see exactly what they did in class for today. Finally, you can always check Aries too. Aries updates and tells you exactly what grade they got for each assignment. And you can now see if they're missing anything. It's a great way to keep up with your student and making sure that they're accomplishing their goals in school and getting the grades that they want. You can also encourage students to practice participate in class. I mean, when I ask questions and nobody answers, it's like, OK, I assume everybody gets it. However, there are times when students email me and ask a question and you know maybe they didn't have one in class, but it's really important. Questions are answered and I will be glad to answer them. Another thing is to provide a quiet workplace with it, without any distractions. Many times as I'm teaching online, I can see a lot of kids talking to other people or even people running around in the background. The kids are distracted and when I'm discussing things with them and asking questions, sometimes they can't answer it. So if there's any way you could help out with that and help them give a distraction, quiet, uh, distraction free, quiet workspace, that would be a really good choice. Last thing is talk to your students about school. Ask them what they learned each day. Don't ask them what they did. Ask them what they learned. Most kids, if you ask them what they did, I don't know. But if you say, what did you learn? That strikes their memory and it reminds them, hey, I learned something in school today. Let me tell you about it. Pretty rewarding conversation when you have those conversations with your student. That's about all I really need to say for this, but I want to give you an opportunity to ask me some questions. I want to thank you first for listening to me and, and hearing what I have to say. If you need to contact me, remember my email is Keith underscore Johnson at NBUSD.org. You can also reach me on Parent Square or, hey, if you got some questions right now, there's a fill out the back to school question from the parents link right next to the link where you clicked on this uh, presentation. So don't hesitate. But if you ask me questions on the forum, please provide me with your email address so I can promptly get back to you and answer your questions. Really nice to talk to you this, uh, this evening, and I really look forward to maybe meeting you in person someday. I know most of your students, and I'm really excited to be with them this year. Very easy transition for me. Saying, wow, I know these kids are ready. I don't have to worry about it. Anyway, good evening. Talk to you later.